it's Alan with Earthglow. Welcome back to another new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you my process for shrink wrapping soaps. And you can actually use this method for anything that you want to shrink wrap, but this uses the National Shrink Wraps, um, I don't know what they call it, it's like their little shrink wrap system. I'll put a link to the one that I have in the description. But you're able to quickly and easily shrink wrap hundreds of soaps with this in I would say like an hour or two. Some people are able to do even more um, just because you can do so many at a time as opposed to the ones on Amazon or other places where you have to do them one by one. So what you do is just use the red mat like I have and then pull out the shrink wrap. Now I actually use what they call biolaflin, which is biodegradable um, plastic material it's biodegrades in like two years as opposed to traditional plastic, which takes like close to a hundred years or more to biodegrade. You just use this wand and kind of push them all over and press down and then to the other side, you kind of like rock it to the other side. And then once you do that, you are able to go through and then individually press each of the rows. Now I generally do nine to 12 at a time. Here you can see I have nine soaps, um, but some people are able to do even more. Uh, the trick here is to make sure that you press all the way down because if you don't, you won't get a tight enough seal, um, which you want to try to get. Now Katie Carson says this and I definitely agree that you're going to get little like holes. It's almost impossible, especially with biolaflin, to get a perfect seal. Now that on the other hand, um, I will redo. But like little holes and little pockets, Katie Carson calls them uh, spaces where you are able to just kind of smell your soap through the wrapper. Um, so it's totally fine to have that. You don't and shouldn't attempt to get a perfect seal on every single soap. It's virtually impossible. That said, um, I do like to just try to do my best to get a good seal on the soaps. So I will start them off just like this. And I like to allow about a little more than a bar in between. like the space of a soap bar in between each row of soaps. And then this wand tool is probably the coolest part of the whole thing because you are able to just go and whatever size product you have, you can just cut it to that size directly. And so it allows you to shrink wrap something as small as like a little shampoo bar to something much larger. And you just, again, you press down for like two seconds and then rock it to the side is the method that I've found most effective. And then the other thing that came with this kit um, is a heat gun but you should be able to use pretty much any heat gun you want. I don't think you have to buy it from the National Shrink Wrap by any means. But yeah, this is the most that I would do at a time. And then what I will do is get all of them together and I'll make like stacks. And I'm gonna show you how I use the heat gun to finish this off um, as well. I find that if you have soaps that have more like jagged edges, those can be a little more challenging and it's helpful to leave a little bit of extra space at the top on those with the heat gun. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. I make like three or four different stacks and the heat gun will just kind of allow me to get that much tighter shrink because the bar tool that we were just using kind of gets you roughly in the ballpark of where you want to be but then the heat gun will just shrink everything right in so that it looks really finished and nice 
And when you do them in stacks like this, you are able to press down on the top and do a bunch of them at a time. Um, but I would definitely recommend not starting out with this many in a single stack because sometimes you can mess a bunch of them up if you are not holding the heat gun um, far enough away. So you wanna make sure that you keep the heat gun back like at least a foot and let it run for 10 to 15 seconds so that it gets up to its full temperature and then keep it held back. Um, you can see here I have it, it looks about six inches away, but I would say, I think they recommend a foot away because what can happen if it gets too close is it will basically just create little holes um, in your shrink wrap and it will kind of split it because it's getting it too hot. So you just kind of press down on the top and go around all four of the edges. Now I like to save the tops for last because I find that things that have a slightly uneven surface need to have a little bit more space allowed for the shrink wrap um, to be effective if that makes sense. So if you have soaps with like jagged edges, you may want to allow even more space and definitely I would recommend doing the side with the jagged edges last. Um, it's just going to help you to get a little bit of a cleaner result because they sort of need more space allowance. And if you shrink wrap that edge first, um, it will, in my experience, just tend to immediately split the shrink wrap. So what I like to do is go through and do what I call like my initial pass with these. And that is where I am going through all four sides with my main focus on the three sides that exclude the top where there's more like uneven surfaces and texture. And then once I finish that, you are going to see how I lay all of these out. And then I will just be running the... Um, the heat gun over all the tops and then flipping them and doing all the backs. And that will kind of be my final effect. And then the labels that I like to use on these are, I'm gonna have them linked in the description for you guys, but they are from online labels and they are the two by two, um, just the clear, I think they're like a clear label for laser is how I print these. And I just print them in my HP laser jet um, but if you guys want a video on how I do that, just leave it in the description box. But yeah, so I'm going to just set all of these out now. And you can see that they're all generally pretty good looking. Like you could probably stop right here. But I like to take it one step further and try to get them just a little bit tighter. And this is going to involve holding the, sh the heat gun back. I would say again at least a foot and putting it just on a low setting. You can use a high setting but you might want to hold it back a little bit more because the whole trick to this is making sure that the heat gun is far enough back that you don't just melt the shrink wrap and create holes is what ends up happening um, and then you have to redo it. So yeah, I'm just getting them all lined up and then I will let that heat gun run for like 10 to 15 seconds just so it gets to the temperature that it should be at because sometimes you'll think it's a lot cooler than it actually is after like 10 to 15 seconds when it reaches its max temperature and you will put it really close and be fine for the first 10 seconds and then the next thing you know, you have holes in all of your soaps um, because the shrink wrap splits if it's too close. So yeah, you can see how I'm able to get these much tighter um, where those little ripples just kind of disappear like that. And then I will just flip these over and do the other side. Now, I do want to make the statement that I don't think it is necessary to shrink wrap your soaps. Um, I just like to do it because I like the look of it. And it also makes things easier when you are packing because your product is basically already just ready to throw into your... Um, box or your mailer you don't have to do too much else um, 
but I like it when you have the intricate swirls, especially to be able to see that, which, you know, the shrink wrap and the clear labels allow for. And I just use like black text on my labels. By the way, this is our Raise That Shit Soap and it will be available again on the website. I'll put a link to how I make this soap um, above as well so that you are able to see. I share my custom formula with you guys as well as basically all the details of this soap. And this is one of my absolute best sellers. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you would like a video on how I design and print my labels for my soaps, um, definitely leave it in the comments. I actually use the same labels and the same basic template as I do for my room and linen sprays as well, because those I use on a metallic bottle, which I like to really shine. So I again use the two by two clear labels um, with the black text. But anyways, oh my goodness, I love how these turn out, you guys. It's just a nice, simple, minimalist aesthetic but it lets those swirls really shine, which to me is what soap making is about. I absolutely am obsessed with glitter, herbs, and all the swirls. Anyways, sending all of you peace, love, and light, and I'm wishing all of you happy making. I would like to take the time to thank my patrons for their incredible support. A massive shout out goes to Wendy, Nicole Rott, Nancy with All About Me Beauty Bar, Merle, Brad with Neon City Scents, Michelle, Paula, Zahara with Crystalline Candle Co., Julie with Belux Candle Co., Jennifer with Bea Essentials, Selena with Banbury Street Creations, Andrea, Sue, Nick, Bruce, Emma, Flavia, Jennifer with Bittersweet Candle Co., Danielle, Anitra with Ninth and Maxwell, Matthew, Jindy, Lisa, Elizabeth, Tammy, Carol, Cheryl with Soaps by Cheryl, Maya, Losa, Betty, Luzdari, Taichi, John with Past Sense Candles, Angela, Amber, Bluegrass Bath and Candle Co., Marquita, Allie, Carla, Todd with Cold Creek Candle Co., Krista, SS, Karen with River Birch Soaps, Kina with Kijoli, Angela, Amanda, Denise with Grumble Geist Candle Co., She's More, Cindy, Kim, Teresa, Frida, Sharomi, J Creative P, Colette, Nicole, Stella, Leanne, Martha, Angela, Jamie, Chadwick, Z, Mabel, Arev, Bobby, Jamie, Brian, Amy, Julia, Stephanie, Honey, Janet, Terry, Maria, Carla, Lo, Genevieve, Gracie, Yolanda, Tonya, Susan, Irene, Rolanda with Mason Marzette, Megan, Melissa, Ursulette with Ursulette's Beauty Secrets, Danny with Halos, Kelly, TCM with Ava Bryceco, Lois, Terry with Maddie Rose Market, Tia, Victoria with The Sacred Prayer, Valerie, Stacy with Firewick with Me, Jenna with Sevastopol Botanicals, Belinda, Rhonda, Smadar, Duchess Luxury Creations, Juliet, Carla, Crystal with Indigo Scents Candle Co., Anika, Kim with Kimberly's Candle Co., Kim, Angelic, Tia, Chris, Jason, Sharon, Miss S, Shakira, Tiffany, Kim, BN, Lizette, Chandra, Pat, Chickadee Company, Tara, Heather, Indigo, Shijana with Forever Mellow Co., Gina, Emily, Sandra with Loft 54, Heidi, Brianna, Sunday, Michelle, Lisa, Angela with Woodland Apothecary, Kelly Vons, Angela, Natalie with Walters Wicks, Anne, Sherry, Cynthia, Denise, Sonia, Natasha, Elisa, and Shambliss Candles and Soaps. Your support is deeply appreciated.